Hello folks, so this is going to be a quick tutorial about Vroid Studio, a nice 3D modeling um, model character creator uh, powered by the people at Pixiv. Uh, you can download it at this link and the link that I've uh, put into the uh, uh, the post on WordPress on our blog. And basically this tool allows you to create characters quite simply and quite easily. And you can download it here and get the software for free. And then what happens when you open up the file, uh, the studio, is that you get a selection of sample avatars. Then you can create your own avatars. You can mess around by adjusting their face, their hair, their body, their clothes, and whatnot. But for this tutorial, all we want to do is just go to the camera exporter, click on export, and export. Notice that, and then we can fill all, uh, all this information. It's recommended that you do for the purposes of this tutorial, not really necessary. And notice that um, the file is saved as a .vrm, so that's used in this application. And if we click and save that, uh, since I already have one, I can replace it and through the processing it will export the file as a VRM. However, what we can do and it's recommended that you copy it rather than change it straight on is we can rename the file extension to be a .glb which is a different type of uh, 3D modeling format and then we can go straight into Blender and go into File, Import, GLB, then we can import the character. And thankfully, what happens is that the format retains the character's rig, as we notice here, and their textures and colors, So as we see here. So if we go into Pose Mode, we can manipulate the character just like we can in v uh, Roid Studio. So if you're more comfortable with working in Blender, you can create the characters in Vroid Studio quickly and then be able to fully utilize the power of Blender to manipulate the rest of the character. So that's very neat and I hope you guys had luck on using this software. And if there are any issues, just send me a message on the Samurai Who on Twitter. And that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye.